Hey, what's up guys? So I've been playing around with this uh, iRangeX i8X IR8M and I got it bound to my uh, little Ishin EO11 here. Uh, bound no problems, um, but there was an uh, issue that the uh, the rudder and aileron were reversed. So when I yaw to the left, it would um, yaw right instead. And if I uh, rolled to the right, it would roll to the left. And uh, so obviously that was an issue. And so I looked online and I found some uh, a fix for this. Um, so pretty much what it is is that they're updating the firmware uh, from the original version, which is took a picture of the original version here. Uh, this was made in uh, 2017, the uh, September 19th, and um, now they updated to this version here. Uh, that said uh, December. Sorry, that said uh, January 26th, uh, 2018. So that came out a few days ago. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how I updated the firmware on here and uh, hopefully that will fix uh, some of your issues. Okay, so this is where I found the firmware upgrade for the iRange X transmitter. Uh, I found it on the Deviation TX website and I found this post here made by Vlad VY and I think he's the one that made this uh, firmware upgrade. Uh, so thanks to him. Um, so basically you're going to need three files. You're going to need the file on this one page. Uh, by the way, all the uh, links to these files will be in the description. Uh, the first file right here is uh, labeled as 2018 January 26th. So you need this one. Download it as a zip file. And uh, the next file you're going to need is the uh, USB uh, DFU USB driver installer. So I downloaded the zip file version. And the last file you'll need is the Defuse uh, USB upgrade tool application. And I downloaded the latest version, which is uh, 2.31. So after you download all three of them, they should have them on your desktop, something like this, all zip files. And you're going to unzip them to their own folders. And I've done that here. So we got the uh, Defuse program, the driver installer, and the firmware upgrade. So first thing you're going to do is open the driver installer. And then uh, you're going to run the uh, installer as a administrator. And uh, you'll get this program load up here on the side. Is And then you have three options. Uh, you're going to want to choose the middle option, which is install Walkera USB driver for defuse USB upgrade. Click install. And uh, this will pop up showing that, uh, that it successfully imported one of the uh, driver files. So after that's done, you can close all those folders, and then you're going to want to uh, install this uh, program here, the Defuse program, uh, run through the whole installation process. Uh, I've already done that on my computer, so I will load it right now. So here's the program loaded up. Uh, first, you're going to want to <clears throat> load the firmware. Uh, click the three dots here, and in the uh, update firmware folder that I made, uh, there is inside there is a DFU file. You want to select that and open it and then when that's done it'll show uh, correctly loaded next thing you want to do is to um, put your transmitter into a uh, dfu mode so in order to do that you want to hold the with the transmitter off you want to hold the uh, exit button and then turn on the transmitter and you'll know it's in dfu mode because you'll see the screen is all black okay so mine is now all black now uh, now you're going to want to plug in the, uh, using the supplied USB cable, the mini USB, uh, plug it into the transmitter and into your computer at the same time. And then now you'll see in the uh, top left corner of the DFU program, uh, Defuse program, that is uh, show up the SDM device in DFU mode. Now some people might have an issue uh, where this step won't show up. I did with my laptop. I tried installing the driver on my desktop and it works there so I don't know why so anyways if it doesn't work for you try a different computer uh, so anyways the, um, now that it shows up there so you just select the DFU mode select the device and click upgrade what it will do it will start deleting the old firmware off your transmitter and then start installing the new one it takes about two minutes in total and after it's done it will just say completed so once it's completed you're going to want to turn off your transmitter and then wait a few minutes or wait a few moments and then turn it back on and then you'll know that it's successfully updated by you'll see the date 
on the deviation uh, splash screen uh, showing uh, January 26, 2018. So uh, I hope this helps you guys. Um, it did help me fix my uh, aileron and rudder issue. So if you found this video any useful, just uh, subscribe and uh, give it a like or a comment if you have any questions. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.